Modern life is much richer. People have networks all over the place. Social media networks mean you connect with people all over the world in a different way. Apartment living can support a really strong social connection and it might be more about um, living alongside a smaller sub-community within an apartment building, understanding who is on your floor or who is immediately above or below you, having opportunities in the communal spaces to connect and meet with those people. Where I think though the opportunity might also lie is really great quality private open space. So balconies in apartments are often really mean, really impoverished, not enough to get the family onto, let alone to have an afternoon barbecue on. So I think the generosity of the outdoor component of an apartment might improve at the same time that some of the internal spaces are perhaps becoming more compact. Families and singles and couples uh, in inner urban locations tend to dine out a lot more. Therefore the demand for a big full line catering kitchen is gone. People can actually prepare meals in a much smaller space than traditionally they have. So I think the momentum's there. People are shifting towards the city. They're making a conscious decision to live in inner urban locations, but there's still some, some barriers. A lot of apartments don't lend themselves to be used by young families, for instance. I think there's some interesting areas that will unfold in the next little while around uh, residential living, around places of education, um, places of work. And another way of saying that, I think, is that we're at the beginning of a century of sharing.